So my name is Susanna. I work as a technical delivery manager for us, the Walmart. I'm here today, as uh, Roy said, to talk about resistance when transitioning from waterfall to agile scrum. I work very close to Dev and QA teams, and that is uh, that that is what this talk is going to be focused on. So, if some of you have gone through a transition from waterfall into agile scrum, you'll know that it all starts with the announcement. Senior management comes and tells us, we have decided to make a transition from waterfall to Agile Scrum. It's going to be great. We will work with the business in ways we never did before. We deliver what the business wants sooner. They'll be happy. We will be happy. We'll start sprinting. We'll get a, an Agile coach, a Scrum master, a product owner, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Next. The Agile coach comes in. This is the Agile manifesto. This is what uh, Agile Scrum looks like. And these are the steps to start doing Agile Scrum. Senior management tell us. And now you know everything you need to know now about Agile Scrum. Go and Scrum it. But what is the reaction among Dev and QA? Let's see. Uh, well, I'm a Dev and QA manager. My role is not on Scrums, on the Scrum roles. What's going to happen to me? I hope this is just a fad and it will go away. Agile Scrum ceremonies, I won't have time for that. Uh, it won't work here. This will never work in this company. I'd like to know how many companies are adopting it. I've seen it failing before. I'm a developer. I care about coding. I don't care about fragile. I don't need agile because agility is in my blood. <laughs> Testers working side by side developers. Well, you can see some of uh, the team members are quite skeptic about it. Others are uh, scared about their role, what's going to happen to their role. And others, they just think this is a fad and it will go away. And now I ask, why are we seeing such uh, high levels of resistance? To answer that question, you need to understand Agile Scrum as a cultural, uh, cultural change. So let's uh, check what is the definition of Scrum. Scrum is an interactive and incremental agile software development methodology for managing product development. But is it really? Is it more than that? Is it a shift in our mindset? Is it a change in the way we think? And what, what is culture? What culture is about? What is culture? Well. To help you to understand what culture is about, I want you to picture a riverbed. Just picture a riverbed in your mind. A riverbed where years of flowing water carves a channel in the earth. No one tells the water where to flow. It simply, it simply follows the path of least resistance, reinforcing that path and making it harder and harder for the water to take a different one. So this metaphor suggests that culture is something deeply ingrained very difficult to change. Uh, we now know what, uh, what Scrum is about, and we now know what culture is about, but we have not established the link between these two concepts yet. So let's see. So as uh, Albert Einstein said once, the culture as we have created, it's a process of our thinking. Um, it cannot be changed without changing our thinking. Actually, he said the, the world but if you uh, scrap the world world and replace it by culture, it, uh, it works as well. Uh, so if Scrum is a shift in our mindset and culture can only be changed if we change our thinking, Agile Scrum is a cultural change. And now we can understand why we are seeing such high levels of resistance. What can we do about it? Uh, these are some actions that we actually put in, in place at, uh, at ASDA. Uh, first of all, communicate the vision and support from uh, CIO. Uh, it's very important for the teams to see the support from the CIO and understand that uh, Agile Scrum is not a fad, it's here to stay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can now understand. Um, Sorry. Also, they need to understand uh, what is the reason for the, uh, uh, for the transition and how the future looks like. Next action, education, education, education. 
you can send your team to workshops or introduction courses to start breaking those misconceptions that they have about Agile Scrum. Later on, you can send them to more uh, specialism courses such uh, Agile uh, Scrum Master, Agile Testing, or Agile Development. Uh, we at us, we have a community of, of practice for developers and uh, testers. Um, it's a, an open space that where the team can talk about uh, uh, what they want. So in the first meetings, what do you think we talked about in the first meetings? We didn't talk about uh, how, we are going, how we were going to ex estimate user stories or how long our sprints were going to be. We talked about how is this going to affect my role, how we're going to be working together. That's what we talked about in, in the first meetings, about our main concerns. We also have a, an agile community where we uh, invite other uh, uh, teams from uh, other parts of the business to talk about their uh, success stories. Because if you have uh, some team members that are quite skeptic, skeptic it's uh, quite important for them to see there are success stories in the company. And it is possible uh, to do it within this company, because those are the success stories. Uh, not everybody resists. Uh, among your dev and QA teams, you can find your evangelists because not all the team members uh, resist. And you can turn them into uh, agile champions. Uh, if those uh, team members are perceived as uh, natural leaders among their peers, they will help convert some of the resistors. Uh, equally, it's important to continue working with agile coaches and create forums where the team can share ideas and ask questions. Uh, we also con conduct from time to time agile uh, uh, health checks. Among other things, you can measure your levels of resistance. So you'll know if the actions you are putting in place, if they are working or not. Uh, and start small. Start with uh, small uh, pieces of work, small pilots, but include your resistors from the start, because they need to, to feel that they are being part of the, the process. And they can also experience uh, change uh, gradually. Uh, just to finalize. I want, to, I want to leave you with this. Do not see your resistance as a problem to overcome. Because the minute you create a culture of us against them is the minute that you have put the success of your transformation in jeopardy. Thanks. <laughs>